our second tutorial. This is a really simple one, um, but we're going to play with one of the other sensors that's built into the BBC Micro bit, uh, and that is the light sensor. So we're going to build a little um, app, I guess, that can detect whether it's light or dark. Um, so we're going to start off um, looking where that is. So do you want me to have a look? It's in inputs, I think. Okay. Can have a look. And we want light level. Drag that on. And if you hover your mouse over it, it should tell you it gets the light level between zero, which is dark, and 255, which is bright. Okay. But we need something that is checking that. And if it's a particular value to display one thing, and if it's another value to display another. So if we, we need an if. Yeah, that yeah. we're looking for. So go find an if in logic. Right, and then we need to do that whole light level equals thing. So okay. in maths, no, no logic. logic. <laughs> we'll never find it. Right, let's drag light level into one of them. But we want to kind of get a range. So we probably want to say if it's greater than a particular value, then do something. So can you change the equals to a greater than? If light oh. level is greater than, and let's, we'll, we'll say something like 50. If it's greater than 50, we're going to say it's day, and otherwise we're going to say it's night. So um, put that on the if. So if light level is greater than 50, then we're going to show a picture. Okay. What do you want to show a picture of? So this is if it's light if it's day. <coughs> Sun. Okay. Alright. Yeah. And then we want um, an else. And I haven't quite worked out else's yet. They're a bit weird. I thought they were an F. Well they kind of are, but they didn't seem to be selecting here. So if I put it there and I click on it, you think you just click there and it doesn't seem to do anything. I don't know if that's something broken in the editor or I'm doing something wrong. Ooh, how did you do that? Cool. I don't know. I just yeah, grabbed well I just grabbed else you grabbed and else then and dragged it, in it into there. Brilliant, that's how you do it. It needs some explanation okay. there, it's not obvious, yeah. is it? No. Uh, and then I guess we get rid of that. Yeah. Cool. So we can probably do that on this one, can't we, if we get rid of that one. We'll show everyone again, so yeah, you do it. Okay, so you, you click on else, or else if, and drag it into here, and then it changes it. Brilliant. Then click the cog to get rid of it. Let's get rid of that one. Genius! I couldn't work that out earlier. Uh, and then we want to show another picture, if it's not um, greater than 50. Yeah? Yep. So we just duplicate that, and then draw a moon. Okay. I'm just going to redo everything, because I... Uh, what? I think that's good. Here, one at the bottom, maybe. And then one maybe to the right hand side there. There? Yeah, maybe. Good enough, we know what it is. Okay, yeah, we yep. know what it is. It's not the sun, so. So that code will now sense whether it's light or not and it will show the right thing. Yeah. The only problem is it's only going to do it once. It's not going to carry on checking the light and changing it. Because um, we've got, it just literally will go straight through it, it'll run the program. If the light level's that, do that, otherwise do that, and then it will stop. There's nothing doing it. Okay. So we need to put a loop around it. So if you enter loops, there's lots of different loops and we're going to do the while loop. If you get that and you plug it onto here, uh, and you can do like while the temperature is something or while the light level is something, but we're just going to say while true, which basically means just carry on going forever because true will always always be true, All right? Um, so while true, just keep looping this, um, and that should do it. So let's program that onto our micro bit, um, and we've named the script up here by clicking on it and giving it a new name. Um, so we do compile. 
and we will go and find the script in our downloads folder copy it if you haven't seen this before you can just copy and paste between the micro bit if we plug it in you'll see and your computer um, however you normally copy a file there we go I'm going to paste it in here while it's copying again the micro bit will flash a little flashing light on there and when it finishes flashing you know it's um, finished loading onto it and you see it briefly in in the uh, folder there right so if I turn around now you should see it says sunny and if we try and cover up that's going to be difficult to show you we'll cover it up oh, you can just about see it flipping into night but we'll go and do a recording in a dark room and, and show you turning the lights on it's the moon sharing because we're in a kind of dark room and if we shine a light on it it turns to the sun light away moon sun moon sun moon and you can adjust the light level to be whatever it is that you want to sense um, and ours needs to be very very bright from the looks of it to get the sun to come on and and anything else is the moon. But there you can see it working.